we need to learn from what happened to the people of Israel. It is said that those who are ignorant of history are bound to make the same mistake. If the people of Israel, these Jewish people who rejected Jesus today, if they have not acquainted with the history of their forefathers, how they made an attempt to see God, how they approached Mount Sinai, and how they ran away because the God they came to see dwelled in an unapproachable holiness and mystery. A God whom, when Moses came to the burning bush and wanted to make a move, the voice stopped him halfway. Do not move, for where you stood is a holy ground. And Moses went back. So if they have read that history, they will understand that if God should come to us in the fullness of his majesty, none of us can stand. But God has veiled his dignity, his power, his mystery, and everything in the ordinariness of our daily encounter. That is why many theologians have said that the greatest miracle, the greatest marvel God has performed in history is the incarnation. The word of God taking flesh and dwelling among us. God divesting his dignity, his majesty, his glory to assume ordinary human form. In this mass, you are going to consecrate the Eucharist. And many of us will come to receive. When that white wafer bread is raised up, what did you see? Did you see beyond the mere appearance? Did you see it as containing the full divinity and humanity of our Lord Jesus Christ? Do you see it as having the whole Godhead complete in it? They are the same thing, the same efficacy, the same power, the same miracle. Just that in the cross, it took a different appearance. But in the altar, not the appearance of bread and wine, it took a different appearance. Let us not wait for that, pre, for that, for that soldier who was standing on the cross mocking Jesus. If you are the son of man, come down from this cross, we believe you. Let us not wait until um, um, night came in the afternoon, earthquake started, man to shake him before he confessed truly. This man is the son of God. He needed that miracle, that spectacle for him to appreciate the divinity of Jesus. But there was another thief. There was a, a thief beside Jesus who, while his, his, his colleague was busy condemning Jesus, telling him to save himself and save him. That man looked beyond the suffering and the crucifixion and cried out to Jesus, Father, remember me in your paradise. The question is, what gave that thief the discerning spirit to know that that disfigured man that man hanging on the cross as a criminal has power to grant him salvation. What gave him that conviction? Nobody knows. But our faith needs to rise to that level. We are even in the discoloration, in the disfiguration, in the ordinariness of everyday appearance. We discern the power of God at work. That is the only way we will not miss out from the richness that life has come to offer us. If I tell you that life is filled with so many blessings, many of us have never taken notice of, notice of. Even to be able to walk, to be able to talk, to be able to eat, to be able to breathe properly. These things are a miracle that are not given to many. But for us, nothing about it. Until something happens, and then all of a sudden, you realize, Many of us, we only appreciate health in moment of sickness. You only appreciate what you have when you have lost it. 